Major changes are afoot for a couple of metro schools. For years, Glencliff High and Cameron Middle have struggled to improve student achievement. The district's director says that will come to an end. News Channel 5's Rodney Dunnigan has more on today's announcement. Rodney? Vicki, the district has decided to take drastic measures to turn these schools around. It's all an effort to prevent a state takeover. Okay, watch your time so that you can get to your three. Excited, okay. engaged, interested. And then what we're working on right now is a persuasive review. The students in Miss Copas's creative writing class are becoming the norm at Glencliff High. We have about 1,400 students, but they come from 42 different countries around the world. Principal Tony Majors admits there was a time these kids would be the exception. Certainly not the rule. Glencliff High School is what I've said many times, prob probably the best kept secret in the city. Since Majors took the helm a few years back, student achievement has improved, but more still needs to be done, and some unique changes are on the horizon. We didn't want to lose something that we're very proud of. Wednesday at the school, District Director Jesse Register, along with the mayor and the state's education chief, announced sweeping changes. The plans have to be tailor-made for each school. Glencliff, for one, will be provided millions in funding to launch reforms aimed at improvements. The school could also see longer school days in addition to dropping the traditional summer break. It just allows a lot more flexibility, and with the extended school day, it also allows us to build more instructional time into the traditional school day. Then there's the issue of Cameron Middle School. Just last fall, nearly every employee was let go. The turnaround there simply isn't happening fast enough. The district is examining a plan to transition the school into a charter, meaning current administrators, including Principal Beverly Bell, who did attend the announcement, could be out. Student achievement overall at Cameron is still unacceptably low. Of course, all of the plans are in the beginning stages. However, Majors knows the pressure is on to produce now. If you commit the resources, commit the personnel, and have a commitment to the vision of that school and that community, that you can turn any school around. Now, these changes within the metro system are just the first in the state's major push for reform since legislators made sweeping changes to state education laws last month. Education Commissioner Tim Webb says metro could develop the model for turning around Tennessee's most troubled schools. Vicki? All right, thanks, Rodney. Cameron Middle would become the state's first public school to transition into a charter. The district is currently looking for companies that would run the shift and take control of the school.